What is going on guys? We're back with another video and today I'm super excited because hold on The reason I haven't been making videos is I've been saving money. I've been buying these things I've been helping getting new desks and stuff trying to think of you know content to make but today we're doing a squirrel cash clinic cook. I just saw squirrels everywhere. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually gotta go to school right now. So I'm gonna just set it for y'all real quick. And then I gotta go back to school. But let me get this. I'm gonna show you how to set this squirrel trap. And then this is probably gonna be the best squirrel trap, squirrel cash clinic cook we've made. And then I need to make a hog cash clinic cook. I'm not gonna tell y'all though, because I don't wanna promise anything. But yes, we are making a lot more cash clinic cooks. Um, check out these new broadheads I got actually right here that's the crossbow here's some new bolts I got actually I don't even need to pull them so this is one of them actually pretty crazy this is just the normal rage broadheads these are actually whack and then these bad boys those are mean right there but uh but basically, that's what we're working with right now. We've actually, that's what we've been hunting the deer with right now. Um, let me go get this squirrel trap. And um, I've actually been practicing also with my European skull mounts. How to like, how to get better and, you know, work with them. That's why I haven't made no videos on that. Uh, I've been getting all the equipment, pressure washers, peroxide, new burners and stuff like that, pots. But let's get inside. Let me get the ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need peanut butter. Uh, peanuts and bread and not peanuts but like if you have like pecans or something and then of course the squirrel trap this isn't a makeshift this is an easy this squirrel trap you can buy from like twenty dollars from amazon i'll put a picture right here but um we're gonna get inside and get ready for it okay guys as you can see this is what we're working with we got a big spoon for the peanut butter um peanut butter is just for the smell attracting and then the bread we got bread just for i don't know food and then of course pecans so i'm gonna set it up real quick i don't feel like really setting up the tripod i mean it's kind of self you know it's kind of common sense how to set it it's going to show you if you buy the trap and i'll just give y'all a look over on where i put the peanut butter and stuff and how i set it but let me get this done real quick okay guys so basically what we're working with i threw some bread on the outside of course i let some in the inside and then i put the majority of everything in the back i put these rocks on top that's my dog Put these rocks on top to keep it from like really shaking to keep it kind of stabilized and then they're just gonna go in there guys uh peanut butter for scent i put the acorns in the or pecans in the front um and they'll crawl in there hopefully and we'll get a swirl but uh other than that let me go put this stuff back inside i need to get to school and get some education but check out this computer Sorry if the lighting is bad. So that's the brand new computer that I'm talking about. This is all my working space now. Finally, if it loads. I'm going to get back to school and I need to get some stuff and then I'm going to come back to the house after school ends, of course. Hopefully we'll have a squirrel in there. Sorry for picking my nose. Uh, hopefully we'll have a squirrel in there. And we'll do a squirrel cash gun cook. Hope y'all enjoy my videos. Hope y'all enjoy make, me making them. Hope y'all enjoy watching them. Let me know what y'all want next. If you haven't already given this video a big thumbs up, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn your post notifications. And let me know what you want next. Okay, guys. So as y'all can see, we are here. Um, This is two days later. And we finally got a squirrel in the trap. She's not very big, but, you know, I don't need a very big squirrel right now. I just want to make one for y'all. I mean... I don't know if y'all can hear those acorns falling. There's so many squirrels. And I'll do another one with, for y'all if y'all want. But we finally got one. She's not very big. I actually got to go to SAT to uh, practice um, in about, I think, 20 minutes. At 5.30, and I think it's like 5. So I need to hurry up and skin this guy up. And I'll put the tripod up real quick. It's going to be easy skinning, easy gutting. It shouldn't take very long at all. Especially with my new razor knives I've been using. But um, let's get to it, guys. Let me show y'all what she looks like. And, you know... If you don't want to see this next part of the video, go ahead and skip. I'll put the number right here, where to skip, you know, like what time. And uh, just skip to that, and that's going to be the part on how to cook it. And how to make the recipe that we're going to make, which I don't know what it is yet. But let's go ahead and check the squirrel out. Okay, guys, there she is. Get a close-up. 
And you don't want to leave these guys in there too long because they'll actually hurt their noses trying to get out of the trap. Look, there's another one. And yes, guys, this may be a neighborhood, but I'm not shooting them in, out of the trees with a freaking rifle or anything. No, I'm trapping them and taking them to the backyard and take care of them. But I'm going to go ahead and shoot this uh, squirrel in the head in the backyard, take care of her. Out of, like, make sure it's going to be in the ground. I'm only using a pellet gun. And, um, I don't want to show that on camera. I know people are sensitive about that, and especially YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera. But y'all saw a squirrel. Y'all see how many there are. Let's get to it. So as you can see, we're right here, and this is a... I think it's a small male, very young male. Either way, you know, there's millions of freaking squirrels around here. So. Anyways, when I was saying about the sharpest knife that I think I've ever used, are these replaceable knives, guys. Like, they're super sharp. It's crazy. All you do is, you know, I think even this one's still sharp, but, like, I just, this isn't good no more. And there's, like, a tool. It's, like, you push up and pull out. You don't want to use your hands, but I didn't bring the tool with me. And all it is is, look. You just open it, brand new, sharpest, sharp, freaking sharp, sharp knife. And then you slide it on. Too easy. All right, I got this bowl of water right here, basically, basically because you want to, whenever you put the meat in there, you want the hair to come all off. So as y'all can see right here, above the anus, so here's the anus, right above it, you just want to make a slice through the skin and through the bone. Try not to get... I can't wipe my knife on my pants because I'm, I'm about to leave. I know people can do this in like literally in like a minute, but I'm not like one of those guys that eat squirrel a lot. It's good, but it's not that good. It's where I eat it a lot. Alright, so this is the part where you're going to put your leg on basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll see what I'm saying. Okay, guys, so move, trigger, let them see. So as I said, you're going to put your foot on that knuckle. It's going to help a lot. And then I'm trying to get out of the all's way so y'all can see. So move, trigger. So y'all sit, y'all put it on that knuckle, and y'all just use these legs, these hind legs, lift up. Clean this bottom part, try and get minimal hair on it. I think there's like another part where you can actually like, grab this skin and pull it back or something like that I don't know and basically y'all could just pull that off so voila there's some knuckles here that you can go around or even just really break I think Now it's definitely smart if you can like find the joint and go around it because because it helps with bones so you don't get all kinds of like you know pointy bones if y'all know what I'm saying that's just trash we're just gonna cut down into this pelvis on both sides then we're gonna go Put that in the trash pile. Try not to cut the guts and then just go up the gut. It's kind of like skinning a deer or something. I mean, nothing real different. Just remember to be careful to not cut into the guts heart you know the lungs heart esophagus this is the diaphragm y'all getting some of that biology in and these are the guts kidneys and all that we're actually just cut all the way up so it'll be a lot easier 
just like that. Open it up, pull all this out. Everything's gonna be attached to the inside of like the spines and stuff. There's the guts guys. Throw that in the pile. And then you can either quarter this. I'm just gonna throw the whole thing in the water. Cause I gotta go. But that took me, that literally only took me like 15 minutes. And I can do it a little faster if I wasn't really recording. But it's okay, I like recording. Like I see it's getting dark right now. I need to go to my SAT practice. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Um, it's not that hard to skin a squirrel, especially if you take your time, really do it easily. If you're not hurrying it, rushing it, now you can just spray off your tailgate, get that blood off, and um, I'm going to meet y'all in a little bit. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, give me, or turn your post notifications on. Give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what y'all want in the comments. I'll make it. Um, I think I have a white-tailed deer hunt coming up. I want to I wanna make a cash clean cook for y'all. But every time I go, I end up getting a deer in the evening. I want to get in the morning, broad daylight. Y'all got good footage. Um, I got like, like I told y'all, I got a new computer. I'm gonna try and be doing good editing. And I hope y'all enjoying this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Now what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna show it on video because I actually gotta go to the store and buy it later. But we're gonna soak this squirrel in buttermilk overnight. Okay, soak it in buttermilk overnight, and I'll be back with y'all tomorrow, and I'll tell y'all what we're gonna do. And we're not going to be frying it or pan frying it or barbecuing it. It's actually going to be pretty cool and pretty interesting. And I'll tell y'all what y'all need next, but I'll see y'all later. Okay, guys, we are inside right now. It's been marinating in uh, buttermilk overnight. And right now I'm going to take them out. We're going to boil it in water. I'm going to show y'all the process. But what you're going to need, you're going to need like biscuit, um, like the canned biscuit, you know, the batter biscuit stuff. And then you're going to need celery, carrot, onion, oregano like the uh powder i mean the the seasoning oregano not the actual herb i mean it's still an herb but whatever um and then your squirrel and i'm gonna show you all the process how to do it we're making squirrel dumplings basically and it's actually gonna come out really good hopefully i think it will but we'll see i'm gonna put you on the tripod hopefully the lighting's okay i still need to get some certain things for my youtube career but anyways examoto i hope you enjoyed uh that gift i got you for subscribing to the channel and y'all can get one too um i think i'm gonna wait till i hit maybe 350 and do another giveaway and let me get these squirrel out and cut them up and show y'all what we're gonna do all right That's what we're working with right now. Really, he's gonna taste good, guys. All right, so right now, there's one leg. All right, so right now. There's one leg. Like I said, we're going to just bone it out. What I was going to do is I was going to let it boil and the meat come off, but like, I just started thinking about it. I was like, nah, we'll just cut it off. Try to get as much off with a knife. And if y'all see any hair, try and get that off. That's going to make the, get the 
food tastes not that good. See, there's some right here, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna use this pot instead of that white one. Alright guys, so we're just gonna cut our ends off. Make sure you wash it. And then with the potato peeler, just peel this skin off on the outside. Alright, so we got our celery. Now get some carrots. Make sure y'all peel y'all's onion. Throw all that stuff away. Now we're just gonna... So y'all see onion? I'm gonna show y'all a trick, unless y'all already know. So look, if y'all can go in it, cut in like that. It doesn't necessarily matter how deep, just go pretty deep. And then turn it horizontal and do the same thing the other way. So now it just looks like a hexagon kind of thing, I don't know. And then turn it this way and just cut. However thick you want it. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to grab one, we're going to roll it, just like this. You can use a tortilla roller, or you can just use your hand. I'm just going to use my hand. I don't feel like really dirtying any more dishes. This one has like that butter stuff in it. You might be able to see it. I don't know. Now what we can do is cut these up. I mean, it doesn't matter how thick you cut them. I'm probably going to cut them about that thick. Guys, all I'm going off of is just what I want, what I like. That over there. Alright guys, so now we're going to add our, our meat and let that cook. So we are going to be adding parsley and oregano. I already added some, but I forgot to do it on camera. So we're going to add it right here. That's what it's looking like right now. Alright guys, as you can see, I added the dumplings, and they're floating to the top and everything. So we got the squirrel, we got the carrots, celery, onion, and all the herbs and everything. We're going to let them cook a little bit more, let them get a little harder. You don't want to eat them too soft or anything. Let it come back to a boil, we'll shut it off, and we'll eat it up. Okay guys, I just turned it off after putting the dumplings in there, and it actually looks really good, guys. But I'm going to let it cool down, i got to go get my brother from school. Um, and we'll taste it. We'll have him taste it. We'll taste it. It should be really good. I hope it came out good. And we'll just, we'll see. Alright guys, so we're outside. And I finally finished it. I finally finished, finally finished cooking it. What are you doing? No, Jenna, the celery, I know it's not good, but like it gives it flavor. Trust me. Okay, whatever. My gosh. Okay, on. he's going to try it, guys. So let's see what he thinks. That's the dumpling. It's going to be hot. Is it dumpling or is it bread? It's, it's uh, like biscuits, dumpling. That's what dumplings are. I know, I know. This is my first time making it, you guys. So. It's a little 
pot? All right, I'll, we'll give you all about five seconds. All right, how does it taste? Are you going? No, like, be honest, like, actually honest, like, if you don't like it, or... Dumplings. Do you like dumplings? I like dumplings, Yeah, dumplings so. are good, but... It's got a real, like, plain flavor to it. Plain? Yeah. Like, well, I didn't use all kinds of seasonings. You're supposed to no wonder. Use, like, oregano right. and parsley. Oh, shoot, I don't want you those. Anymore. That's the squirrel. The squirrel's good. But it's plain too. But probably because you don't put no seasonings. I'm gonna go inside, finish eating that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for y'all. Thank y'all so much for subscribing and clicking on this video. I'm gonna leave my channel here, my other videos here that y'all can click on and watch. Hope y'all enjoyed me making this video. I love y'all. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go inside, eat some of this. It's actually a meal that I made for the fam. So we're gonna go inside, eat it, have a good time, and probably chill on the couch, watching TV or something. It's been a long day. Um, this is about three days. Of making this video, I'm gonna go inside and edit it for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.